Since I was a small child, I've had allergies. I do everything I can to control them. However, one thing which is becoming a losing battle is air fresheners. Many years ago, people used to only spray air fresheners. It was not a big deal. If I went over to someone's home, I could simply ask for the person to not spray air freshener before I arrived. The only other places I usually encountered air fresheners were in public restrooms. I either held my breath when using them or I found someplace else to go to the bathroom. In the last 20 years, several companies have developed air fresheners which are plugged into outlets. These contraptions constantly release toxic chemicals into the air. It is usually more challenging to get people to agree to unplug these devices from their homes and businesses because many people like the smell. For me, these chemicals burn my lungs and cause my asthma to flare up. I try hard to avoid these plug-in devices, but it is extremely difficult. My church uses them, the library utilizes them, many doctor's offices and clinics use them. It seems everywhere I go, I am nearly knocked off my feet when the strong perfumes of the air freshener hit my airways. Now that I use a ventilator, the toxins in the air are much more potent since the air I breathe directly enters my lower airway via my tracheostomy tube. Additionally, when I'm in a facility which uses air freshener, the chemicals attach themselves onto my respiratory equipment. It often takes one to two days of running my ventilator to get rid of the smell. I wish people would be respectful of others and stop infusing chemicals into the air. Until then, I constantly have to battle the toxic fumes and hope I do not develop an asthma attack or allergic reaction. One thing also, I wish people would be very mindful of wearing fragrances such as cologne or perfume because many times people do not understand how powerful their scent is that they put on. They walk into a room and you're just like, oh, you can't breathe. Your eyes start watering, your nose starts watering. It can be very overwhelming. I've had a lot of issues with doctor's offices. Either the nurse or the receptionist or the doctor will be wearing very strong fragrance. And as soon as they walk into the room, you just can't breathe. And I've actually had to ask the people to leave because I just could not breathe. I was coughing and sneezing so severely. My friend was recently in the intensive care unit and she was there because she was having a lot of breathing difficulties. And I could not believe that the respiratory therapist who worked in the intensive care unit put on strong, strong cologne. The cologne was so strong, you could smell it for five minutes after he left the room. When he came into my friend's room, she immediately had an asthma attack. And praise be to God, she was in the intensive care unit. They were able to immediately evaluate her and get her treatment for it. But it was all caused because the respiratory therapist was wearing cologne. I believe in many hospitals, especially the intensive care unit, they have regulations and restrictions regarding perfumes and such as fragrances. But I don't know about this hospital why they allowed the respiratory therapist to wear such strong cologne. So that's just another obstacle with having asthma and allergies and breathing difficulties is people with cologne and perfume and just all the fragrance in the air. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.